Greetings, YouTube. We getting ready to do our 13 sun sign reading, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Ophiuchus reading, okay? This is the last one out of the 12. This is the 13th sun sign. Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys collectively. Make sure you guys go to my website. You can order merch or reading. Oh, lovers and leap of faith. Somebody's taking a risk here toward a new love, a commitment. So make sure you guys go to kimarts.org and you guys can order memberships, hoodies, merch, uh, t-shirts. You can subscribe. You can book your reading there. Okay. So make sure you guys uh, go to my website, kimarts.org. In the meantime, let's see what's going on with you guys. And it's been a good month or two, huh? Let's see what's going on with our 13 sun signs out there. Scorpio and Sag. Oh, Fucus in the house. Watch your mouth, okay? Let's see. All right, let's see what's going on. Ooh, Ace of Cups for you guys out there. A new loving connection coming in. You guys are releasing any worries over a new love. You got a new offer coming in there, and somebody's not feeling, somebody has dropped a lot of responsibilities, all right, and they got that new love. You got ended a harsh uh, cycle in love, and now you got plenty of love offers on the table. Ooh, look at y'all. Y'all got a whole lot of uh, love offers on the table, huh? All right, we're going to see. Yep, look at there. Ended that wounded warrior. You've been to battle. You've been commit. Your commitment to something has been tested. You guys have been through a lot of options. Again, choices, keeping your options open uh, to you guys find that, that true love that you want. Yep, look at there. Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Y'all have definitely been tested with a lot of false cups here, okay? Somebody, you know, you guys thought you guys would meet the one, but you guys came up pretty much empty. Oh, Libra balance coming up in here. So you guys may have marriage coming in here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, three of cups, Pisces. What? And a, an investment of some sort. Okay. Coming out of that five of cold in the, uh, out in the cold in the doghouse, lack scarcity mentality to imprint up. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius there, and Libra coming in there, Venus. So somebody is definitely having uh, to invest a little bit more, take control of their finances, uh, and, you know, invest and, and get away from this lack uh, mindset, okay, what they've been feeling about love and keeping their options open. Somebody's going to be celebrating some stability, maybe a new position here, an uh, emperor, a CEO, or a boss uh, opening up your own business. Something you invested in last tour season is about to come and change your life, okay? Ooh, it's going to bring some balance to your finance, some emotional balance too. Oh, look at there. Leo, the most powerful card in the deck. Whoa, on top of Le Ooh, on top of Libra and Venus, baby. Somebody's about to get some just higher level commitment. Look at there. You guys are getting a higher level commitment. Oh, my God. I see the Empress, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who else is here? And the Four of Wands with the Empress. So you guys are definitely, oh yeah, you definitely, you fought your way through it, huh? The competition, the dark night of the soul, uh, you know, somebody has definitely been tested, had a lot of betrayal, had a lot of endings, again, with those options. And now you guys have finally found the one. Look at that, the two most powerful cards in the deck on top of the Two of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys are definitely uh, getting your wish fulfillment with rebirthing something. You guys been through hell and high water, okay? You guys fought fought the good fight. You didn't give up, okay? You got you went through all kinds of types of inner conflict and confusion with changing your mindset, okay, and elevating yourself. Again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio up there with the King of Cups. Some of you guys had some choices of two people here. Okay, and this old love is trying to come back and be rekindled. Somebody wants to bring something back that may be possibly ended. And then again, somebody here is going through the dark night of the soul. You dealt with a lot of conflict, a lot of betrayal, a lot of inner, uh, you know, changing of your mindset. And you got that three of cups up there, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And like I said here, you got the, the Venus. Look at there, marriage proposal, ten of cups under the bottom. The Ace of Cups, Gemini, Libra, Carrera, the Four of Wands, Marriage Card with the Empress, 
and somebody's watching y'all. Somebody got their eyes on y'all. What's on the top here for y'all? Rags to riches. Yes, moving on out of that scarcity, poverty mindset to a soulmate union and, and financial independence. Look at there. And somebody going to be missing y'all because y'all got y'all uh, financial independence back. Y'all uh, looking good, smelling good, investing in yourself, giving yourself some self-love and self-care with that nine of pentacles. You guys are single. Somebody want to come in there and have a reconciliation and rebirth something that was possibly dead. They want to bring back this union here. Somebody's getting their soulmate. Yeah, somebody's hiding something for us. Look at there. Somebody's going to come in with a, a secret offer for a higher level commitment with some of you guys. Scorpio and Sagittarius. Leo's here. Taurus is here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, somebody's getting a reconciliation. Somebody's going to be celebrating this new position that they got. Okay, they rise from the Phoenix. You know, again, uh, Leo. Somebody's hiding something, hiding the fact that they want to come in there and give y'all this offer, okay? This secret offer or this secret proposal, okay? That's going to brighten y'all day. So again, Taurus, the Hierophant. What else, Spirit? What else is going on for our Scorpio, Sagittarius, Ophicus, Reek? Whoop. Yeah, it's going to be some movement here. Positive movement, steady and positive. Okay, it's going to change y'all life. You guys are ending a hard cycle of worrying and having a lot of responsibilities on your backs. Okay, you guys are definitely moving forward with a lot of abundance. So don't stay positive, you know, stay positive because you are moving forward, even though it don't feel like it. It's all in the mindset. All right. With that five of pentacles, you guys are coming out of poverty. You guys are having a change in your perception. Look, ooh, look at that power couple. But sadly, you guys are not talking either. Okay, so again, look at there. Somebody's not willing to give up. Somebody's going to fight for this at all costs. You guys could have an ex possibly in this picture here in this third party situation that you guys have broke up. And now they want to come in and move forward with you guys. Turn things around here with you guys. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm, okay. Stranger than fiction, huh? All right. Somebody's going to be coming in there and not willing to lose. All right. It's going to be a conflict. Could be a fight here. Some betrayal. Got a king of cups and a king of sword with an empress, an emperor out here. Hangman. Yeah, somebody can't let you go. Look at there. Somebody wants a victory with y'all. Victory and success. Somebody is wanting. Ooh, look at there. Somebody's burdened by you guys moving forward. What, what did I tell you? I just saw somebody burdened by y'all moving forward. Aries Leo Sagittarius is burdened by y'all moving forward. And there it is, the six of sword energy, that they wasn't able to keep y'all stuck and stagnant and hung and sprung. <laughs> All right, tower moment, break up. So again, epiphany. This person realizing what they lost. They acted like a child, okay, always putting up a fight. This person, you know, y'all ended it with this person, fighting with this person. This person betrayed y'all and y'all moved on and they thought they could keep y'all stuck. You know, they thought that they could keep y'all stuck. And out in the cold, they wanted y'all to not get love. But y'all got the Ace of Cup. You got love. All right? Tower moment. All right? So break up. Y'all ended a harsh type uh, cycle. There could have been a breakup. Uh, a fire sign. Again, look at that. King Pinnacle. Y'all guys regained y'all stability, financial independence, and stability. Y'all confidence. So you guys definitely, look at that. Collaborating. What's this? Lover card. Yes. You guys are going to go embark on a commitment of business and love. So you guys may be, uh, yeah, take that leap of faith. Take that risk. Take that opportunity. You guys are ready. So again, this is Gemini and Taurus Capricorn Virgo. You guys are going to be fully invested in a long-term commitment. Uh, again, fully a supportive commitment, a union, divine soulmate union, three of cups, two of cups, and the lover's card and the sun card that's very abundant. Uh, again, and it's going to move y'all out of that uh, low vibration, that lack of uh, five of pinnacle energy. And you guys need to take that leap of faith. All right. This person is going to be your love and your uh, your soulmate. Look at there. Moving on again. Planning the future. Yep. Look at there. Kingpin, Taurus Capricorn Virgo. You guys are going to be financially stable and independent and wealthy. <laughs> And wealthy. Yep. Somebody's coming in with a love offer. Yep. And they being sneaky. Somebody definitely is watching you guys. Somebody that betrayed y'all. This person, this ex person is definitely watching y'all. Keeping an eye on y'all. Yeah. Some clarity and truth is about to come out. Y'all got a decision to make. Y'all going to be moving forward with a soulmate. 
uh, six of cups with a with a chariot card. The spirit is telling you to move forward. This is balanced. This is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, this is y'all person here for some of y'all. This is the one. Yeah, moon card. See some secrets and power couple, queen pentacle. So again, there's definitely uh, some hidden about this decision that y'all gotta make or this decision, but you guys are gonna be able to make it. You guys are gonna get some clarity. You just gotta, you know, listen and pay attention, follow your intuition uh, again. And again, uh, you got some financial stability and independence there, uh, a power couple. Keep your moves silent and secret about your business, your love life, and your work, all right? Because the moon card did come out. And again, somebody's got some options. Yep, somebody's crossed the throat chakra and the heart chakra. Open up. Don't be so closed-minded. Open up. Open up your heart. There's new love coming in. The universe is trying to give y'all this cup. But you guys are thinking about the third party, wanting to hold on to the third party. All right? Spirit is telling y'all to let go and move on. Because there's something better coming. Rest and recovery is needed. Yep, balance. After three is four, energy. So again, somebody is definitely going to be getting a divorce and moving on. Again, balancing out your emotions with some rest. Things will clear up when you guys get some rest. Take a leap of faith. Boom, trust the universe. There's the empress. So there is a power couple coming in here. You guys are going to be led right to your empress, to your power couple. All right? Sitting in your feminine energy. All right? You guys need to rest, though. You need to pour all that emotion back into yourself. All that love, all that emotion back into yourself and trust the universe knows what the universe is doing and keep your moves silent. Keep this relationship silent. Keep your money silent. Keep your work, business or career silent. Any type of raise or anything. Yep. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, follow your intuition, high priestess. So again, that is y'all reading. Uh, let me see, Scorpio, one more card, Spirit for Scorpio. What is going on with this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Tell us more. Ah, King of Pen. Ooh. Ooh. Little House on the Perry. Ten of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. Somebody stuck up in their head about you in this Ten of Cups, baby. Somebody. You may have still some offers. You may have double offer coming in. A secret uh, offer. A secret love between a fire sign and an earth sign coming in. So that's why y'all need to get y'all rest. So y'all can choose the right person. <laughs> so y'all can choose the right person. Spirit is about to give y'all a test. Okay, Spirit's about to give y'all a test on y'all y'all intuition. So you see who y'all going to pick. And there's a King of Cups here. So there's definitely a third party situation here. Uh, again, it's y'all happiness. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all happiness. A Ten of Cups. Marriage. Union. Happily ever after. Again, you guys are going to, you got to get some rest though. So you can pick right. <laughs> All right, see y'all later. Ophiuchus, 13 sun sign, Scorpio and Sag. Jeez, okay? Peace, love, and harmony.